Now, the Eastern Cape is now a battle zone. Reports of mass shootings have become a regular feature in the province. Last month, 18 members of a single family were killed, while six patrollers were shot dead during a meeting. And now Friday, the latest shooting incident near Mtata claimed the lives of five people. Let's get the views of Ian Cameron, who's the chairperson of the Portfolio Committee on Police. Ian, good morning uh, to you. Thank you so much for your time on ENCA today. Many questions are being asked about the uh, surge in mass shootings that we're seeing specifically in the Eastern Cape. What do you make of it, Ian? Yeah, so with the with the latest uh, case, we don't know the motive yet. Yesterday, I did speak to certain counterparts in the South African Police Service as well as the Hawks, and they said the motive would still be determined. But it is extremely worrying, especially to see the amount of children that are getting killed in the process or getting injured in the process. It just seems like there's this brazen attempt or, or brazen these brazen attacks on innocent people. And uh, it's, it's difficult to pinpoint exactly why now. Uh, again, you know, it comes back to the whole issue regarding crime intelligence with the amendment or budget amendment processes coming up soon. We'll be seeing uh, or trying to, to do what we can from Parliament's side to see if we can adjust the budget in any way to ensure that we've got some kind of a proactive capacity to prevent these horrible things from happening. And of course, this has also brought the uh, issue of gun control under the spotlight once again, Ian, uh, the availability of illegal guns and the pace at which uh, the police has been able to rip the streets of these illegal guns. Do you perhaps think we also need to relook the central firearms registry? So let's start with a with gun control issue. There's an cr absolute crisis in South Africa with illicit firearms.